sad or lonely. Good. Go ahead. You're right on it. Yeah, it's very, very interesting. No, 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 no. No, 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 please. No, no, no. Please. No, go ahead. Well, because I couldn't think of anything, so I just made stuff up. That's excellent. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> I think they're all like two, two men. I, I, I thought, but it could be like one of them. I mean, their hair is kind of long, and in the U.S. and stuff, there's you know people who have like girls and boys that share like same names and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like they, you know, Alice could be girl or Alice could be boy. Okay. I mean, if the men were kind of girly, one could thought she she was a girl. Or oh, okay. And she, they went to you know go that. So uh, I'm sorry if I, I trashed that one. Um, 
the, the last one, it reads like a nighttime TV drama. It's very good. And Ren I Joshi Fallon, which I don't think made it on, maybe it's Ren I Joshi Fallon there. Um, also very annoying, very uh, cute, but there's very real advice inside all cute stories, so I really like that. Okay, so I am going to answer some of the questions that you gave me. And I will do my very, very best, and I apologize if I don't get this right. Um, Okay, when did I read Yuri Manga for the first time? So the first manga I ever read was Sailor Moon, and of course, Haruka Michiru are a couple. And so, sort of, that was my first Yuri um, uh, manga. And then it just, I kept reading manga, and it's more and more Yuri all over the place, so it's easier now. Um, this question I thought was very interesting. What do I expect when I read manga, and when I read Yuri manga, which characters do I sympathize with? That's a very interesting question. I like characters who are not special, but work very hard and become really good at what they do. And uh, the, the character I picked as my, my best in this regard is Mizuno Yoko from Maria Samagamiteru. She's smart, but she's not outstandingly smart like uh, Eriko Sama is, you know. And she works very, very, very hard and becomes a very good student and eventually becomes a lawyer. Someone asked me, do I read Yaoi manga and uh, what's the difference between Yuri and Yaoi? So that's a complicated question. Bio manga has a very specific history. It came out of shoujo and jose manga and it's by women, for women where Yuri manga kind of came out everywhere all the time by everybody for everybody else. So you have Yuri and shoujo manga and jose manga and shonen manga and seinen manga. Everybody has some kind of Yuri. It's a, just a, another thing. So it's a little different because BL manga has a very specific, how would I say, tropes. <laughs> um, this Patterns or yeah, themes. patterns and scenes that you see over and over, and that's what the audience is looking for. Um, whereas Yuri, because you have men drawing it for other men, sometimes men drawing it for women, sometimes women drawing it for women, sometimes women drawing it for men, you know, and then you have straight, um, you know, non-gay people writing it for for gay people, or sometimes gay people writing it for themselves. It all becomes a little different. So um, the best to me is when you have a, a gay woman writing your manga. So Steph by Takamiya Jin, um, her work to me is very important because she has lesbian characters who say that, and they use lesbian slang. So they indicate to the other characters around them they are also, you know, in our group. So you don't get that a lot. With, with BL, the men tend never to be gay. They're really girls with short hair. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it tends to be, they talk like girls and they act like girls, but they they don't have girl bodies. But, so I think that's a big difference. Um, I don't read a lot of BL manga. Um, I read very, very little. So, so Yuri, Yuri is different because it doesn't have one audience. When you read something, it could be for anybody. So, good question here. Do I think Yuri kinds of relationships happen just in Japan or also in other countries? Also in other countries. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, yesterday we were walking around Tokyo and we saw two girls walking to the train station and they were holding hands, which is not unusual. Of course, you see young women holding hands all the time, but they looked at each other and thought, that's not holding hands like friends. They had like big lovey dovey eyes. We both went, oh, so cute. Um, I once defined Yuri as having, this is going to be hard, sorry, lesbian content, so a lesbian story, but with no lesbian identity. There were no lesbians in there. So it was two women in love, onodoshi, but not lesbian. But that's changing now. These artists are changing that now. Wow. 
is there this kind of manga in other countries? Everywhere where there are gay people, there are people telling these kinds of stories. The stories that I showed you today are by American men and women who want to tell those stories to themselves and to their friends because telling our stories is a way of building our community. It's very important to us when you when you turn on TV and all you see are straight couples, or if you were to come to America and you watch TV for a while, you'd be really like, where are the Asian people? Because for some reason, I can't answer why, American TV is all white these days. We have no idea why. It's like the worst, least diverse TV in the whole world is all white people. It's really annoying for those of us in America. And um, it's you would be very frustrated after a while. You'd be like, where, where are the Japanese people? Where are the Asian people? And you need your stories told. You would start telling your own stories because it's important to us as humans to have our stories out there for people to read. And it's a good way. The internet is wonderful. You put your story out, somebody finds it, and you become friends. And you become friends. Uh, why do I like Yuri Manga? It's easy because I'm a lesbian and I was looking for lesbian manga. There, that's fun. <laughs> um, so, this was kind of an interesting question. Um, what points do I recommend about Yuri Manga? So, I re recommend reading manga by women who are telling stories for other women like them. They're honest. If you're reading, oh, this is old, but if you're reading My Hime, or you're watching a My Hime, it's not an honest story. It's a story created by a company to make lots of money, to generate lots of figurines, and then you have a lesbian character, Shizuru, and she's nothing like any lesbian ever, ever is. And it's unreal. It doesn't feel right. When you read Hoo Hoo, it's so real. There's a scene in the second chapter of Hoo Hoo where Sumi, the one with the long hair, um, is on the lap. Sumi is done with work, and her wife is sitting there, and she closes her computer and says, okay, as she works at home, okay, I'm done. And they both throw up their arms and give each other a big hug. Now, it doesn't sound like that's real. We do this every single night. <laughs> every single night. It's like, done, yay, you know, I work at home, so I know what it's like. Very real story. So this is the kind of thing I suggest. Um, okay, this is a very complicated question, but I really liked it. What relationship between, do you see between Yuri Manga and Japanese na national character? That's a really good question, and boy, I can't answer that one at all. <laughs> it's very hard. But I will tell you this. In a society, any society, not just Japan, it's very hard to talk to people when you're young, particularly, when you don't know who you are, and you don't know what's important to you. It's hard to talk about it. And so comics, in general, comics are a very safe space to have someone tell you your story. Does that make sense? I know, that's kind of complicated. So when comics, when you're young and you want to tell your story, you might write or you might you might draw up, and this way your story is out there. But because it's not you walking around telling the people around you, you can put it out there and let people react to it kind of safely. And while that's not really Japanese national character, I think manga in general, because manga as an industry is so developed, it made it a very easy way to tell a lot of different stories. So people in America who don't understand manga will look at manga and they see one thing. All manga looks like one thing. If you read manga, you know it's many things. Right? It's all your stories. You have a favorite manga, you have a favorite manga, you have a, you know, or maybe not, maybe novel or movie, you might like action movies, but these are all of our stories. So it's a really good way to try out yourself when you're young. You want to put on the right mask. 
the one that fits you best. And comics is a very safe place to do it. Okay, what anime do I like recently? I haven't had time. What am I watching? What are you watching? Nothing. You're not watching anything either? No. Gosh, we're bad. Sakura Trick is coming up, right? Sakura Trick? Uh, so you yeah. Sakura Trick. And, um... You like to go to Space Pirates. Oh, yeah. Moretsu Space uh, Pirates. Uh, Ushin Kaizoku, Marcus Bodacious Space Pirates. That's awesome. That was great. Um, do I feel Japanese culture in Yuri manga? I think so. I mean, it's hard for me to say because I'm an outsider, but I think if you read enough with an open mind, you can feel. Do you feel like you learned Japanese culture through manga groups? Oh, yeah. You think so? Yeah. I think so. But how do I prove that? I don't know how to tell you. I think, I think so. I can't answer that. Um, okay. What is my favorite scene in Yuri manga? So, <coughs> in Gunjo, there are two characters. Neither of them have names. There are, they have no names. We have the, the brunette here. She's a very, very unhappy person. And she asks the other character to kill her husband for her. That's how it, moves, that's how it starts. Manga starts there. Right, and the other character is blonde. So we have the blonde who did the murder and the brunette who wanted the murder. And she's a terrible person. She's just an awful, awful, terrible, horrible person. And she says, the two women, the, the husband gets murdered, and the two women go out on the run. They're in a hotel room. This person asks the murderer, what was the look on your face when you killed my husband? And the other person can't answer. Later that night, they have sex. They're in the bathtub. And this person is sitting there, and the, the other person pulls her head back and takes a knife and goes to slit it. But only takes only a couple, very little bit, only a little bit right here. And then lets her go, and turns, she turns around in horror, and she says, this is the look on my face. <laughs> it was great. It's a great scene. But total, it's a very brutal, very violent series. I love it. That was my favorite Yuri Manga scene ever. Um, is there prejudice to homosexuals in my country? Yes, but it's America is so large. It's more like say Europe than one country. It's like many countries. There are 50 little countries, and the, and Alaska, which is one of those little countries, is gigantic and you know bigger than most of Europe. So yes, there's um, some prejudice in my country, New Jersey. In the state of New Jersey, not so much, but in some other states, there's a lot. Uh, let's see. What's the difference between Japanese Yuri manga and English Yuri manga? Um, because in Japan, manga culture is so established, you have manga stores, and if you wanted to become a mangaka, it would be very easy for you because you could learn to draw. There's schools you could go to, and there's you could there's contests you can send your comics in. You in America, we don't have any of that. There are there are comic stores, but they don't have gay comics usually because comic stores are usually for creepy guys who all collect comics. And they only like superhero comics, and they only like certain superhero comics, and they only like that superhero comic and find that publisher. Um, very, very unpopular sort of things for American comics. So the difference is that while there is a lot of uh, there's a lot of gay comics, until the internet, it was very hard to find them. We still don't really have a lot of stores that sell the things, but the internet has changed everything. Because now, of course, it's very easy to find that. Okay. Why did I want to read a Yuri manga? That's a really important question. How did I even get started? So, 
I was a fan of American superhero comics since I was a very small child. And um, then I grew up, and American superhero comics did not grow up. They were still for children. And every few years, American superhero comics go back to the beginning and start the same stories. They just keep going back and tell the same boring story. And the, I was getting older and more complex, and the comics were not getting older or more complex, so I, I was looking for better characters. And then I discovered manga. And one of the things that really appeals to me about manga is the characters all have lives, you know? You close a manga book, and they're still going on without you. You know, you know, you still have you see them ten years later. They they have families, and I really like that. Um, after the Dark Knight series, the Batman Dark Knight, after that came out in America, comic books became incredibly depressing. It was all about being dark and gloomy and gritty and realistic, and it was just miserable. And I stopped collecting comics, and then I discovered manga. And manga told stories of people who change over time, and they grow, and they get older, and they mature. And I thought, yeah, I'll read that. Um, and my last question, the last question, in case we have any other questions, is what kind of Japanese food do I like? And my answer is, Tsubasa no Nihon no Tadamori ga I like it all. My number one favorite is katsu. I love katsu. And I think that that's so pretty much the end here. I want to um, thank everybody. I want to thank you again for coming. And uh, thank you very much, James, for having me. And um, find my, my list of thank yous here. Uh, <clears throat> I want to thank Professor Welker and the Cross Cultural Studies Department for inviting me here and all of you. Today, you listened to my story. And each one of you has a story, and I hope I get to hear all of you. Thank you very much. So, thank you so very much, Erica. Um, for my students who are in the two classes that were required to come, <laughs> if you can fill out the form and give it to me before you leave, and for everyone else, if you have questions that yeah. you want to write, I don't know, are you, if you were, fine finishing and like letting you be off the hook, but <laughs> Erica has her blog, she often, she, well she sometimes takes questions and I, I know you're going to write about this. I'm going to write about this, but of course I, I'm glad if you have questions that did not get answered and you're like, please by all means, because I do question and answers on my blog all the time. So if you, yeah. so if you write the questions down, I will, I'm going to keep these for your grace, but not for the, I'll just scan them in and send them to Erica. That's so fine. she can answer them later on the blog. On the blog, yes. Yeah.